What's up everybody? So today in this video, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how we help business owners, service-based business owners at Optimize IS. So at Optimize IS, uh, actually if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, uh, the owner CEO. And what we do is we help service-based business owners. We help you do KPI and systems integration. So I'm gonna go into what that means here in a little bit. But if you have, if you're new to the channel or if you've watched lots of videos, Typically, you have lots of tutorials on Airtable and some of these tools like Airtable, Asana, Zapier, or Integramat. And those are all fantastic tools, but kind of what I've been realizing is that people come to me and they already have like a little bit here or there for that tool, but there's so many people who they don't know exactly where to start. A lot of people come to me with like, they have projects in mind with them, uh, they have projects in mind for like what they want to have built for their business. But then as I'm doing it, uh, I really want to help them out with the problem that they're having, but I'm like, well, this problem over here would solve that problem a lot faster. So that's kind of what I've been realizing is working with more and more business owners is that business owners a lot of times need a guide, especially with tech, with information systems, they need someone who can guide them and say, these are your actual problems and this is the database that you need to build and this is the way you build it instead of the business owner going hey here's here's my problem can you build a database to fix it because uh, that doesn't always work in fact i see a lot of times especially when you have uh, people building bases without a good direction then it's not always used a lot but it's still a great database, but I see some of these really complex systems that connect here and connect there and connect here. Um, they might be really intuitive for one person to use, but for someone else they're not. So that's really why some of those pains, those, that's why I help people the way that I help them. So what I do is I help business owners get clear on numbers and give them clear systems to manage that. So I do use tools uh, similar to like Airtable, Asana, Slack, Toggle, and I could keep going down a list of tools. Uh, but really what the core ways that I love to help people, uh, the first one are pinpointing their bottlenecks in their business. And this can be bottlenecks in operations, sales, or marketing. And these are bottlenecks that are helping or holding you back from like 10 xing your profits. They're holding back holding you back from reaching your potential. A really great story that I absolutely love was when I was sitting at Lewis Howe's Summit of Greatness and on the stage was Ed Milet. And Ed Milet is like an incredible, incredible businessman. He works with like Tony Robbins and uh, Dean Graziosi and Lewis Howe's and amazing people like that. And one of his stories was uh, about God and about who he, who he sees God as when he reaches his final day, when he gets like the gates of heaven, who is standing there and that's God. But what he talks about and what I found really profound is that when he meets God there on like the last day, uh, he, God, the person standing there is actually like the best version of himself. So that's another big driver for myself to do as, as well as I can and do like different things and I really push the limits of what I think is possible, but that's also what I try to push for clients as well. So I like to push, uh, where could your business be if these issues were gone and how can we solve those issues, uh, based on the values of your business. So the whole values framework is another thing that I will talk about in a different video. Uh, but what, some of the stuff can give you once you figure out what your bottlenecks are. Uh, actually, the way you do that is through knowing your numbers. So if you're a business owner and you don't know some really key numbers like your cost per call, your conversion rate, um, conversion rate like in a sales call or conversion rate on your website, or your cost to deliver your service, or just metrics to be able to track to have a predictable system to serve and generate clients or serve and generate like a really good customer experience. Um, if you don't know a lot of those numbers, then you're really missing out and that really can uncover some of those bottlenecks. Uh, 
I think I said a little bit ago, the values framework, I'll go into that in another video. But one of the other problems that I see business owners having is they don't know which numbers to track. Like I said earlier, like people come to me and they're like, hey, I want this system built. I'm like, okay, I can build that very easily. Like it's, it's not a hard system to build, but that's like, that's not the problem. And slapping a system on it isn't always the issue either. But having insight to know like these are the numbers you need to go into uh, and these are the numbers that matter for you and your specific business uh, and this is how you can build a repeatable system to track that uh, I found that to be a lot more powerful than just building someone's systems so that's two of the three things the, la the third thing is what I'm going to go into next so the third thing is once you know your bottlenecks once you know your numbers you want to be able to know those numbers all the time. So the last thing is a framework for making these automated reporting systems to give you like the health of your business. And I've been trying to figure out like how I can explain this best, but it's essentially like having a pulse on your business. So like if you're just to constantly be able to see whether it's day over day, week over week, or month over month, uh, where is my business trending? I think one of the most powerful things for me that I've been able to see is the inputs, what, what inputs equal what outputs, like how consistent on YouTube do I have to be to have consistent revenue, or what consistent hours equal what consistent revenue, and even more than that, like what consistent hours and what buckets, so like what consistent hours in marketing or sales or operations cons like, translates to more revenue. So there's... A million different numbers and a million different ratios I could go down but knowing what numbers are important back to that values framework and then knowing a repeatable system to get you there uh, that's the other half of the coin so if this is something that you think can grow your business if you think gosh like I don't even know where I would start I don't know what numbers I need to track or you just don't know how to build a system to track it or you know that there are bottlenecks in your business and you know you want to get that clarity into the numbers then you can request a consultation down in the description of this video it should say www.optimizeis/main and you can request a call to speak with me and we can talk about what we can do to get you to the next level in your business we can knock out those bottlenecks we can help you reach your potential uh, help you reach like your maximum potential right now and we can implement some of these frameworks into your business. And these frameworks have worked. If you look at my website, there's, uh, I think, eight or nine case studies on there. If you look through some of my past videos, there's uh, a few interviews on there and a few different testimonials, so you can go check those out. But I encourage you to go check out the link down in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team, and I will see you there. I'm super excited. Without further ado, see you in the next one.